M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. Zygu G90, we're just doing the firmware on the LCD unit and I want to show you it again because it's quite crucial you do this correctly. So when you download the firmware from Zygu, I'll put the link in the description of course, but there it is there and you choose the firmware that suits you. Okay, just download that. You'll get three files, but the main one you want is the update tool which is called something like Terra term yeah and then the actual firmware if I double click the firmware you'll see that within the firmware you've got the display unit which is the head unit and then you've got the main unit which is the back unit okay just remember that and just minimize that for now so then open the, the program called Terra term you just clicked it there a little yellow square you get two windows so turn off your radio completely Leave the power supply turned on, but unplug the power cable from the back of the radio. So you've double clicked and you've got this yellow folder here. You've plugged your cable into the right hand side where my finger is there. And it's the cable for firmware that comes in the box normally, but you can buy them. Uh, you've got these two windows just on your COM ports at the bottom. Select your little window square, right click and go device manager and just check that your COM port, double click where it says ports here, just ports, and you should have this USB serial port. Click it, right click it, and then go to properties. Once you're in properties, go across to port settings, just make sure it's on 115200, okay? Close that and close the port window. Now here you, with this first box, go to serial, and find that COM port, which was 38 on mine. COM port, there you are, serial COM port. Click OK. Now on the la on this black window, you're going to go set up at the top and go down to serial port. Serial port. And then you've got 38 selected, hopefully. And then just change that to 115200 and then click new setting, okay? And that is now ready for you. The last bit is loading the actual firmware. So remember at the moment the radio is turned off, but the power supply is on. We're gonna plug in the cable, power cable to the radio. Remember we're just doing the head unit now, not the rear unit. We've got our cable in the radio and what we're gonna do is turn it on, but we're going to hold down the volume and then press number one on our computer keyboard. So let's do that. We're going to power, hold down the finger on the volume, power it on. Fingers, I'm holding down on the volume, <laughs> powering it on, and then I'm going to press number one. As soon as you get it right, it will, there, I'll just press number one again. Come on then, number one. When you get it right, it will start to erase. There it goes. Once you've got to that point, then you can go File, down to Transfer, X Modem, Send, and the really stupidly important thing is make sure you tick the 1K thing here and select the cor correct one. You want the display unit if you're doing the display unit. Click that, double click it, and there, the firmware is now gonna go in. And if you've done this correctly, at the end of the firmware the radio will come on and I will um, hopefully you've done your the back unit correctly as well and this process is the same for any firmware that you've got so let's just let it come on we've got the Zegu display there and that's it we can tune through ETC Job done. Thanks for watching my channel and remember to hit that 1K. Bye for now.